What's up guys, it is Movember, and I haven't grown a mustache. Rocking a little beard a little bit, a little man fuzz, but I don't know, I never felt comfortable with the stash. However, that doesn't mean I don't appreciate a good set of whiskers on a video game character. So without further ado, here are my top five video game mustaches. Five. Starting off the list, I must give props to Captain Price. The dude rocks a stash, and the stash only seems to make his accent more powerful. I've been kind of down on Call of Duty games lately, and the latest one hasn't impressed me much, but goddamn, that's one fine mustache, and he keeps it so properly groomed, even in times of war. There's a man who has his priorities straight. I salute you, Captain Price. Four. Coming in at number four, you gotta love the Robotnik whiskers. I'm not even a huge Sonic fan, but I can recognize that unmistakable stash anywhere. It's the kind a Williamsburg hipster would rock, ironically, but there's nothing ironic about the way Robotnik wears it. It's clearly a classic evil villain stash, and he plays the part perfectly. I mean, the guy captures adorable little animals and turns them into, like, evil robots. If you had never seen Robotnik and someone's like, hey, does this guy over here look like he captures adorable animals, and you saw the stash, you'd be like, yeah, he does. He looks like he captures them and does terrible things to them. And you wouldn't be wrong. Number three on the list goes to Solid Snake for his very suave cookie duster. Solid Snake is kind of your classic manly man, and he definitely rocks it. He rocks a stash. With Solid Snake, it's, it's like one of many aspects of his face that all come together, kind of a collage of manly awesomeness. He's got the beard, the eye patch, the mullet, the mustache. They all merge together perfectly to create the character we all know and love. So kudos to Solid Snake for realizing that the stash doesn't need to dominate the whole face can be a very important component. Two. And my number two, one of my favorite characters from Borderlands 2, possibly my all-time favorite, Mr. Bonerfart himself, Sir Hammerlock. God damn, does this man pull off the stash into Sideburn's look. Man, plus he's got the robotic arm and the suave hat. This is the type of guy that if you're lost in the wild and there's a pack of hungry skags chasing you, he's the guy you want watching your back. You know he probably has some very outdoorsy wisdom on how to avoid all the weird creatures on Pandora. Plus, he's such a proper gentleman. If you just heard his voice, you would pretty much picture that stash and robotic arm holding a glass of scotch. Because he's one classy mofo. One. And number one goes to, and you guys probably saw this coming. I mean, he's a very famous Nintendo character. It's a little bit obvious. Say it with me now. Wario! Bitches, that's right, I said it, Wario rocks the stash better than his red-clothed counterpart. That right there is one villainous bit of lip hair. Let's face it, if Mario didn't have a mustache, he'd still be Mario, he'd just be clean-shaven. But with Wario, it's part of the persona. He talks smack to other players in games like Smash Brothers and Mario Party, and those taunts hit harder because they're coming out of a mouth topped with that Doom stash. That is the type of stash that you would expect to find on a guy that knocked you out of Smash Brothers with a fart attack. Come at me, Mario fanboys. Bring on the dislikes. I stand by my decision. Well, there's my list. If you're mad that I dissed Mario or that I left any of your other faves off this list, go ahead and tweet me at LaserCorn and let me know what you think. That's all for this top five. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Hi, my name is Joshua and I'm an achievement junkie. I love achievements. I'm addicted to gamer scores. So number three here just makes me happy.